feeling of being back on set for season two, for me, it felt like it felt like we were coming back for sophomore year. I was wearing my old shoes. They have been worn to the ground. There's no arch support. And I felt like I was home. Yeah, coming back for season two, I totally thought we'd just like slip right in. It would feel like great. It's like we already got done with freshman year, but then they were like, sophomore slips like day one I called line oh, yeah. in the very I had three lines in that scene I called my like day one that was the <laughs> yeah and Bailey and I were in that first scene together and I remember like I was like I went up to her and I was like Bailey I'm, I just want to let you know that if you had the call line I sure would have because my line was right after yours and I had no idea what I was about to say <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like that makes me feel so much better <laughs> Hi, we're the cast of Outer Banks, and this is the top five wildest Pokemon from season two. With having the fan base that has now been established, there was definitely a, 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 not just a need, but a want to kind of bring something special and unique. And so this season in particular, I think there's so much going on and it's so high stakes. and there was kind of a concern for us, like how can you make the stakes even higher? And so when we kind of got all the scripts, I think collectively we can agree, we're like, oh, all right, well, this is insane. But for all of us, if we hold each other really accountable with the work, so whether it's doing a scene together or whatever the case may be, if, if somebody's not feeling it or if you're working across from any of these guys, you're gonna know whether or not, you know, it doesn't feel truthful or if it's not hitting its points and, you know, finding the right moment. So, I'm just glad that we're all very honest with each other in the work and outside of work as well, because it just makes everything more, uh, I guess the truth in the work kind of seeps through. And um, I hope people see it this season. That was beautiful. Yeah. Oh my God. Beautiful, beautifully oh. eloquently put. I think our first wildest poke moment is when we all, when the pokes reunite. Just. From there on out, shooting things back, like all back together, it did feel like a reunion in, in a way because we were we were finally back in it. We were finally all back together. And it just like as fun as everything is um, in the first like two and a half, three episodes, it's just it's just not the same without the pogues. It's just it's not the same when we're all not together. And like all of that. All of the fun we have with like the, the improv and the jig jacky moments between the pogues, like, you know, you miss that. I, mean, I did. And so from there on out, we were, we were basically, we were shooting together again. And so it, it did feel like this, oh my God, like we're, we're back. And those reactions were just, those reactions did feel very genuine in that sense. It was a very serendipitous moment because not only was it the reunion of the pogues, but the majority of Charleston had showed up too. So like the entire battery was filled with people. The police department was called, like it got crazy really fast. It got rowdy. And, you know, they were watching. It was fun, it was poke stuff. Yeah, it was like, wow, okay, the city of Charleston has fully shown up to watch this happen. They have no idea what's going on, right? But they can kind of pick pieces apart and kind of make an assumption. It was just awesome. Like it's always awesome to have the five of us working together and there's so much kind of, I don't know, there's a little magic spark that that continually happens regardless of it being an emotional scene, you know, a comedic scene, a dramatic scene. There's always just something that happens that I feel like in my heart just finds its way to the surface. And so I just remember looking around like, wow, we're we're back at it. Attempting to break John B out of it <laughs> has got to be it's got to be in the top five worst Pogue ideas ever. Ever. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pogue Hall of Fame. I mean, Pogue Hall of Fame, I did say that. I did say Pogue Hall of Fame there. I mean, but, you know. I'm not going to say there's actual personal experience trying to do that, but uh, <laughs> I would say... Uh, a little too specific there. <laughs> but at the same time, like doing that scene or working with Valerie, who was the director of that, of that episode, as always, it was, Val was just, like these guys said, we had the idea and we usually, our first idea, we'd run with it. And Val just lets me do that. Like Val's also just like, what's your first idea? And I'm like, I'm like, this is what I'm envisioning. And she's like, do it. And then we'll tweak it later. And usually, usually we, we don't like need to tweak it because she likes going that far with it. And um, yeah, and uh, that was a fun experience. I also had a great time. Uh, uh, if you're, 
gonna be talking about the jail breaking out scene working with chase in that scene and just rick raffing back and forth that's not a saying i know but like like we're sitting down at the table and we just kept going back and forth we had like this funny ad lib that didn't make in the show about he was in a bob the builder suit i wish it was in there <laughs> that was that was that was all chase that was all chase yeah. that. So it was, it was a blast. yeah that was that was a fun one that was a good day the third craziest moment for me at least is just rationalizing like john b and sarah hopping in an open top boat and being like let's go back let's go back and i'm just like you know what that right there is Pogue right there. And I want you guys, just, I, I think there should be a deleted scene. There should be a special that boat featured ride? scene. I, wanna, I, wanna, I just want to know how long that ride is. Yeah. No, no, no. So the thing is, y'all, we got in an Uber from right. the Bahamas back to the outer, right. no, back to Charleston. Yeah, it was, it, it was, yeah. it, it was an it was actual Uber, Uber, Uber helicopter. <laughs> it was Uber, yeah, they have Uber boat. No, and they, when they dragged it all the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was so, a canoe You guys just went all the way back. Canoe <laughs> 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 so for my top one of my top five wildest ride pogue moments um how about when we tried to take over a shipping container how about you know full of pirates oh, and with like four like the four of us were just like yeah we got this like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like adults with guns and like Divide. and obviously yeah. obvious like entrapped advantage like we're just like i love <laughs> doing pogue, pogue tried to rationalize it a little bit he's like okay yeah this is d decent odds, you know. It's that's still how, he's, that's how he's got it. He's got to explain yeah. it for himself like that, so he doesn't lose his mind. <laughs> he's like, um, five, 15 to fifteen to five. Yeah, that those are odds. Yeah. Shoot. That's a statistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's a thing that can happen. Into the container ship is definitely. Yeah. First, yeah. Step one yeah. was getting on the ship. So the the, the, the pogue moment yeah. starts there. I didn't voluntarily jump off. I just fell off. Like, like yeah. that, was, yeah. that was my. That wasn't on me. That wasn't yeah, on. Yeah, me. I was. Oh uh, uh, yeah. And the last wildest pogue moment from season two is, I gotta say, Rafe shooting Sarah like a brother shooting his sister feels like a pretty ridiculous moment you know i think when we got the scripts that was something that horrified me uh to actually go through an experience like that where it's it's real you know like obviously you have somebody laying on a table like that and sort of taking some of the personal side of our relationship and you know incorporating that into you know the work so um that was pretty raw and you know Gut wrenching, and it took me a little while to kind of bounce back from that. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a quick, easy transition back into normalcy. So um, I'm just glad it turned out okay. You know, like I, I'm pretty proud of that scene and and uh, where it ended up. So, um, but it sucked. I was crying for eight hours straight. I think that day. That was a tough day. Yeah. yeah. Can I throw another oh, one out there? Can I? Go ahead. I I try to tell you guys. I try to tell you guys in the show, but like John B. Never go up against a gator, all right? Like, why do you have to yeah. that water? There, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that 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 How did nobody bring that up? You would have been yeah. got. You would have been got by Mama like Gator. A cat. I got nine lives, you know? Sarah's yeah. got nine now. She, well, I don't eight. know. I would have been dead. I mean, you kind of came in clutch with that, that night. I mean, though. like, apparently you'd have stabbed a gator in the eye. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. crazy. I've got good aim. Wow, this yeah. big moment. Thank God. Just three chickens. Man, that would be dead. It's that hand eye coordination. Yeah, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chase, Chase, you should have, you should have like let out, like, ah, that was me. And then, like, like, ah. Oh, you punctured my lung. There was, okay, there was one moment, though, when we were in the water and I thought I had actually, like, the knife was like a prop knife and it was made out of rubber. But there was one moment where I actually thought I had, like, gotten chase and it was incredibly cold that day it was not the kind of day you would want to like stop a take in the middle of it you just want to yeah. get done and i stopped i was like wait wait, wait, hold on hold on and he came back around because they had the gator on rotisserie <laughs> and so chase was coming up like like you know 50 percent of the time and i thought i had gotten him and so i stopped it he came back around and i was like are you good and he's like we cut? We all. can do this for 14 know. days, honestly. We yeah, could just I sit down moment by moment. We can go yeah, through every episode top. and pull at least three. Go through the whole season and narrate it and be like, this was pretty crazy. I don't know if we would have survived that. That's also very crazy. 